Okay, now that was just really, really freaking awesome. I just got out of seeing Henry IV Part One in Shakespeare's Globe Theater. I'm going to try to do some panorama, get you to see some of the sights around here. I really don't know how well any of this will show up on the film. That is the Globe Theater. You know, and it's nighttime and this camera doesn't really do night shots very well. But hey, there's the Thames. And you know, this was, I, I mentioned that this was a play that I really wanted to see. Um, I studied a lot when I was taking a Shakespeare course and I wrote a whole paper based on Hotspur, who is my absolute favorite uh, Shakespearean character. I've only seen this play act performed once before, and that was by an all-female troupe of uh, University of Illinois students. This, on the other hand, was by like actual actors, <laughs> and they just really did a wonderful job. Oh my God, it was I, I, I'm I'm geeking out absolutely, but it was. Um, yeah, uh, Sir William Falstaff is actually somebody semi-famous. He had one of those very recognizable voices, but I didn't recognize any of the um, uh, TV or film credits that he had, so I'm going to have to do some uh, Google work. Um, yeah, also the guy playing Hotspur, he was actually fairly close to nailing it. <laughs> of course, you know, I, I may sound like uh, Harold Bloom, uh, famous Shakespeare critic, and he, he once uh, said in his book all about Hamlet that he'd never seen a single Hamlet performance that really lived up to his expectations. And, um, well, yeah, that's kind of how I feel about Hotspur. It's, it's uh, yeah, he's, he's a character who's really driven insane, um, trying to please his father, um, just trying to live up to being the ideal son and the, the theme of honor's tongue. And... Uh, yeah, uh, this guy really did a good job of that. He was actually spitting uh, when he was uh, giving his uh, big, big speeches. He was spitting. You could see spit flying. And I had a great seat. I actually, you know, the seats, they were pretty nice. Um, you know, and I took photos. So you'll maybe see some still shots of all that. Uh, <laughs> this is so cool. Yeah. Totally awesome. I'm so glad that, you know, they just happen to have two seats left uh, when I went here this morning and bought tickets, or just one ticket. So I just totally lucked out on this one. They don't allow film inside or else I would have, you know, shown you some of what the inside looks like on this video. But you'll have to see the still shots for that. This was just so cool. You know, lots of really great actors. You really got a sense of what was going on. And it was funny. And you know what? They sang and danced all these little numbers in between the scenes and the, and, uh, the acts. And, uh, you know, that's something that was actually pretty too, true to Shakespeare's time. You know, a lot of what they did was actually really period and very authentic, not just in the building of the globe, but costuming choices and a choice of... Uh, um, you know, what they used for uh, backdrops and uh, set pieces and props and, um, you know, all, like I mentioned, like the little bits of uh, dancing, dance numbers at the, and songs that they did, you know, they actually did perform, the actors were performing act, like period songs and uh, doing little dances and uh, <laughs> at the very end, uh, you know, after the play was over and, you know, the actors usually come out and ever, they bow and everyone applauds. Well, you know, for this, this time, you know, before they actually, you know, started bowing, all of the actors came out onto the set again and they did like the electric slide or, uh, you know, some, some other kind of line dance. It was like a cross between every sort of line dance choreography, you know, all just piled into one. And it was just awesome. And the audience was clapping. And, well, you know, I'm sure the line dance itself is not period, but you know, they weren't period moves necessarily, but that's not something that you can really prove one way or the other. So who knows? Maybe, maybe they did do the electric slide in Shakespeare's day. It, it's just, you know, I'm surrounded by all of these audience members who are totally, totally geeking out and just having as much fun as I've had. So it, it's, there's a lot of fantastic energy here right now. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I gotta go. Regret, regrettably. But, uh, 
Yeah, this is awesome. Awesome!